can we please stop with the battered girlfriend syndrome of like, he's going to change. He's on a learning curve. He's going to, once he gets the nomination, sorry. Um, and I don't mean to trivialize domestic abuse. I'm sorry if I offended anyone, but you know, this, this um, constantly waiting for him to become another man at age 70 something, it's just, it's not gonna happen. And this, you know, he's gonna, he'll get the nomination, he'll become more presidential. Okay, he'll win, he'll become more presidential, Never mind. Okay, he'll be inaugurated, he'll certainly become more presidential because he's the president, in fact. No, it doesn't happen. And the learning curve is steep because he has, throughout his seven decades on Earth, been, been profoundly incurious about the world in which he lives, in which we all live, unfortunately, with him. And, um, <laughs> and um, <laughs> is that too blunt? <laughs> so I, I just think that, um, you know, it's wonderful to have these people in the cabinet who get along, but again, because uh, he might tweet something that suddenly cuts off um, Qatar from the entire region, which is, you know, already a calm and stable region. You know, or if he, um, it, it kind of doesn't matter if they get along or if they have staffs or not, because he or Jared will do something crazy. And, um, and I think the other difference that I think is really uh, terrible and a kind of law, um, kind of under the radar simmering thing is usually is, in Washington. This, is, this was like, what's good? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I, I just, I have to like, I'm See, just, boss, I'm I answered the I'm question. Just, yeah, no, 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 I appreciate I'll, I'll that. I'll get there, it's just a much I know, by the way, answer. I know where she's going. It's the orb. The orb, <laughs> <laughs> right, it was extremely cool. It was well, the magic eight ball. It was the magic eight ball, yeah. So, um, no, I'll get to what's better because it's just a very short answer. I just wanted to push back. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to push back against what my uh, esteemed fellow panelists were saying, because, I, I, you know, with all due respect, um, you're really scraping the bottom of the barrel for what's good here. And um, the so you in prior administrations in Washington, you would have the best and the brightest itching, competing to serve the country and whatever administration was in power. You are seeing a massive exodus from Washington, people are seeing what McMaster goes through, people are seeing what Tillerson goes through, people are seeing what Rod Rosenstein goes through, and they're saying, no thanks. I don't want to be part of this vehicle that is driven by a drunk driver mowing down women and, uh, pregnant women and children. I don't want to be sitting in the back seat saying, oh, perhaps you want to take a right turn here or stop at the stop sign because he's not going to, but you know, but you'll and get I promise, through. the president will never again attack the bleeding facelift of a news reporter. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so, anyway, so but what's, what's better, the, good thing? the, the one good 30 thing, seconds. The one we, good thing was the 59 Tomahawk missiles that hit that empty uh, airfield in Syria. It was, it was a show of, no, no, it was actually a really important moment because it showed the Russians that actually were willing to do something, and it showed that the Russians actually can't do all that much in return, that a lot of their, of what, of their position in Syria and in the world is blah.